Rise on time for once? What is the world coming to? Womp womp. Okay, I had to. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Um, yeah, y'all see the title. Um, so I guess we'll do the intro first, and then we'll talk for. Mm, let's talk now, and I'll do the intro at ten thirty. This is the this is the pre-stream where y'all just get to talk. We'll, we're just gonna we're just gonna have a back and forth chat. <sighs> and I'll do I'll do hellos and we'll do the intro at ten thirty. So y'all get two minutes. We, we, ask ask questions away. Absolutely, uh, Squicks. Absolutely love uh, Benny Link Machine. I've not seen a single thing about Dark Revival. I've heard really good things about it. Papa, I am challenging you. I have two children. I am more Papa. I am like Papa. Eleanor, is that a, a FNAF joke, or are, you, or are you being for real? Which is totally fine. I just want to get the vibe. Am I playing Benny and the Ink Machine to Dark Revival? So we, I'll save that for the intro, because that's important. Uh, boy, I VOD this stream. All the streams are available. Uh, they're public on the main channel. You just have to click the Live tab, and you'll see all the streams. Runa's coming out on the 25th of July. I saw. I'm very excited. Do I have a favorite of my cats? Obviously not. They're all my favorite. What's better, Benny and the Ink Machine or Benny and the Dark Revival? I've never played either. I've heard Dark Revival is better. Bendy time, no other indie horror is important. True. Right? What a stack day. We get <laughs> we get the fucking Band Band 4 trailer. A ruined uh, announcement. But we're, t we're playing Bendy today, boys. Do you think something will happen f in time for Poppy Playtime? Um, I don't know. I know that, um... I, I know something is coming soon for Chapter 3. I think, like, a teaser trailer or something. I'm excited. We haven't had any, tra uh, like, Chapter 3 news for a bit. Unless you count, like, the little odd videos, which are, like, kind of Chapter 3 hype. I don't know. I'm ex I'm really excited for Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Ah, oh, well, thank you, Sophocles. I appreciate that. All right, it's 1030. Let's do A. Intro, what should I play for music? Um, copyright free old timey music. Jolly good, royalty free old timey music. Perfect. Let me loop that and make it so you guys can hear it. Hello, folks. We're going to be playing Bendy today. I'm not going to do the whole intro. Could you imagine? Um, so, as I've been very public about on Twitter and on the channel, I've never played either Bendy game. I have not consumed any Bendy content. Now, I know a lot about Bendy and the Ink Machine. I'm in the FNAF fandom. It's, it's hard not to. Like, I know some of the names. I have a kind of general feel about the Drew family and something happening there. But I've never played either game. I would say, let's play Bendy and the Ink Machine. But I've heard several times that Bendy and the Ink Machine is kind of rough and didn't age super well as a, as a game. Like the gameplay can drag at certain points. So instead of playing Bendy and the Ink Machine, we're going to be playing Bendy and the Dark Revival, which I have heard nothing but universal praise for. But I hear you, Rai, you've never played the first game. How are you going to know what's going on? I found a 25-minute lore recap video of the story of Bendy and the Ink Machine. We're going to watch that at double speed, and then we're going to play Dark Revival. So let's get it. Uh, hello, chat. How's everybody doing today? Uh, Verlin, I do not. Let me do my hellos. Crystal Chan, hello. Wolfie Player, hello. Bender Slayer, he Bendy Slayer, hello. Uh, Thomas Harris, hello. Ileana, hello. Garrison Kids, hello. Lord Arby's. Uh, <laughs> Garrett, I do look tired just because I am tired. I've had four hours of sleep a night for like four nights because I have a baby so I am tired <laughs> but I'll be okay because you know what a little bit of caffeine baby biggie you're crazy oh okay 
Eleanor, that was not a joke. I apologize. I'll be referring to you as Eleanor from now on. Um, Eleanor is one of the like main characters of Phasmer Frights. That's why I was like, because I, I know we're FNAF folks. Eleanor, what are your pronouns? Impulse Evan, welcome, welcome. Lobby, welcome. Mason, welcome. Here, Lynn, Rose Beef, Aruna Borealis. Cla 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 Clawless? Clawless? Uh, the cats are really good about the baby. They generally avoid the baby because loud, suddenly loud. Um, Blobby, I do genuinely like Diet Coke a lot. I like Diet Coke more than regular Coke. It's lighter. My opinion on tortillas, they make for a good lunch because you can put whatever in them. Uh, Gemma Moliterno, I will not be shouting you out. Rady, you just play it a bunch and hopefully find it. I mean, yeah, it's your opinion, Biggie. I just don't agree with it. Um, I do like the long Furby. It's a good meme. Sophocles, you're too, you're too right. No gamer, hello, Super Mario Frenzy. Okay, let's get into it, yeah? Totally get it, Eleanor. Do what's, do what's best and safest for you. Okay. Let's learn the lore of Bendy, shall we? I guess I'll full screen that, and then we will edit trans, we'll stretch the screen. Oh, you know what? Let's do it this way instead. All right, that's probably as good as we're going to get it. Will I ever play Tattletale? I've played Tattletale. I mean, I can play it again, but like, I feel, I've, for me, it's like, what's the point if I've already played it? You know, like, I already know what happens. It's a great game. Oh, don't worry, Emmy. I'm about to consume this like the ADHD child that I am. I have not played Mortuary's Assistant yet. I own it. It's on the list to play. Um, okay, so, playback speed, double, captions, on, they're auto-captions, uh-oh, did they make cap, nope, it's just auto-generated captions. Alright, folks, I hope you're ready for the uh, ADHD Wonderland, put the captions over here for you. I wanna be there, whatever. Welcome to the Naked Peace Talk with Mingle and all the videos. Cool. In this video, we'll be looking at the puzzle adventure horror game, Bendy and the Ink Machine from Joey Drew Studios. I absolutely love this game. Everything from the level design, is that, aesthetic, is that volume good for you guys? Let me know if it's too loud. There's spoilers in this video, so if you haven't played the game and you want to, I'm not sure why you'd be watching this video, but you now have been warned. That, that's, hey, it's me. I, I want to. I haven't played the game, but I want to. A man called Henry enters a cartoon animation studio called Joey Drew Studios, which he used to be an artist, and he was the co-founder of it. He's been invited there that. by his partner, Joey Drew, who states that he has something that he needs to show him. Henry explores a derelict studio littered with cardboard cutouts of a character called Bendy, and then Henry discovers a hidden ink machine, but after turning it on, it produces a malicious version of Bendy, known as Ink Bendy, which chases Henry. Just before he makes it to the exit, he falls through the floor. After clearing a path for himself, he stands in the middle of a ritualistic symbol on the floor, sees some visions, and passes out. Henry awakens from his involuntary slumber and makes his way through the lower level of the studio. Henry sees a person carrying a cardboard cutout of the character called Bendy, but when he follows him, it appears that the man has simply just disappeared. After having to solve some puzzles of a musical variety, Henry is confronted and tied up by the man that he saw before, who is called Sammy, and Sammy mentions that someone, or he, will set them free. Henry is then chased by Ink Bendy, who manages to escape but is spooked by another character from a studio called Boris. Oh, hi, After Boris. taking a rest inside of Boris's safe house, Henry awakens and he and Boris leave the safe house in the hope of finding a way out of the studio. It's dark, but with the use of a flashlight, they manage to find their way out. Boris journeys through a vent in order to open a door so that Henry can pass through. He ends up in a room with a sign which says Heaven and Toys. Passing through this room, Henry ends up in a toy room for a character called Alice Angel. An advert for Alice Angel plays on the screens, and after it finishes, a twisted evil version of Alice Angel will stop. I know Alice Angel. That's the character that Posture wants to have sex with. I have to have normal speed, but captions are a must. I watch the video multiple times before I enjoy it. I understand. I'm literally, I'm so ADHD brained. I watch, if it's a video that I'm not watching to enjoy personally, and I just need information, I usually do 1.5 times, but I can handle two times if I just focus on it, you know? Also, Megamind, one of the best DreamWorks movies out there. 
Y'all just need ADHD brain. It's great. Start shouting from behind the glass. Henry has a choice of taking one of two paths, the angel or the demon. After a spooky encounter with a bendy cutout, Henry reunites with Forrest, who gives Henry a pipe in order to defend himself, and they find an elevator. After hearing the twisted Alice speaking to them over the speakers, the two of them ride the elevator to level 9, as instructed to do so by Alice. They see a lot of Forrest clones dead, having been killed by Alice. Alice gives Henry various tasks they must complete for her in order to escape. However, after completing these tasks, Alice betrays Henry, accuses him of stealing from her, and causes the elevator to plummet to the depths, and after it crashes, she kidnaps Forrest. Henry wakes up to the crash and finds Forrest gone, and sets out in order to save him. After making his way through the studio archives, and after witnessing a pretty cool fight between Ink Bendy and a character called the Projectionist, Henry journeys through a haunted house. Traveling merrily along in his cart, Henry hears Alice speaking over the speakers, and tells Henry she has a surprise for him. This surprises Boris, now seemingly having been turned into a brute by Alice. Henry eventually defeats brute Boris, and Alice turns up annoyed, and just as she is about to kill Henry, she is stabbed from behind by a lady called Alison and a man called Tom. Henry wakes up again, this time he is in Alison and Tom's hideout. Alison gives Henry a piece of glass, which shows hidden messages written on surfaces. Eventually, Alison mentions that Ink Bendy has found their hideout due to Tom doing something incredibly foolish, and Alison and Tom leave Henry for dead. After using the glass to help him escape, Henry makes it to an old barge, and he has to sail through the ink-filled tunnels until he reaches safety. Henry isn't safe for long though, as he is attacked by Sammy. There's a Tom whole round down down the Sammy's head. After a massive fight with some enemies called Searchers, Henry leads the way but falls down a hole after a wooden board collapses. Henry eventually reaches a film vault and meets up with Alison and Tom again, who explain that just beyond a door, which Tom duly punches open, lies Ink Bendy's lair, located inside a giant version of the ink machine. Upon approaching his lair, Ink Bendy turns into Beast Bendy, and after a battle, Henry manages to defeat him by using a film reel titled The End. Henry then seemingly arrives in the apartment of Joey Drew, who tells Henry that he needs to visit his old workshop. Henry goes through a door and is right back where he started in chapter one again. Then the game ends. So again, there's a lot to discuss here, but we'll start by discussing my theory. Okay, so that was the the plot of the game. Boris is a himbo. I've played Doki Doki, so like, I I don't. If I've played Doki Doki, the the effect of it is not going to work. Credit to the incredibly kind five dollars. My ADHD break comes with auditory processing delay. Oh no, it's the opposite. I recognize these are words, but I hold no meaning. I feel that. Um. Uh, okay. So immediately, just from watching, and it's going to go into the story, but just from watching that, I'm guessing that Boris and Alice Angel are, like fake not fake copies like poorly made copies of what was attempting to be made with Allison and Tom right like they were trying to use or they, they were trying to make characters from the show Alice Angel Boris Bendy and they were using people to do that and, and maybe it's a matter of and again Never played the game, and we're going to learn. But my first guess is that they were trying to make these characters. It wasn't working, so in a fit of desperation, they used Allison and Tom, and then it worked. That's my guess. Um. Also, I think I missed uh, Eleanor with the incredibly kind six months. That's half a year. Uh, Petitioned to play Doki Doki. Well, I, I guess that came in right before, but like I, I have played Doki Doki Literature Club amazing game but it the effect kind of really only works good like really well the first playthrough all right so that's my guess let's keep watching and what's going on this game has a lot going on in terms of law outside of the game if you do have a different theory put it down below i'll be keen to hear your take on the game a few books were released off the back of the game. On the 30th of July 2019, the Joey Drew Studios Employees Handbook was released. Months later, a novel called Dreams Come to Life came out on the 3rd of September 2019, and the sequel to this has just come out actually titled The Lost Ones. Just before The Lost Ones, though, on the 2nd of February 2021, The Illusion of Living was released. We'll be referencing these works at various points in the video in order to paint a better picture of everything that happened and to find out a bit more about certain characters in the game. <laughs> Started in 1929, the Joey Drew Studio was a success. Well, it was in the first 15 years or so, but we'll get to that. The company was started up by Joey and his friend Henry Stein, a talented artist. Despite Joey taking full credit for the characters that the studio designed in his book, The Illusion of Living, Henry was actually the visionary for them, and he was the one who designed them. This is reinforced by that secret message in the lobby which states that Joey drew nothing. All Joey cared about was wealth and success. He likely saw Henry's talent and saw dollar signs. This was refuted by Nathan Arch Sr., owner of Archgate Films, in the reissue of Joey Drew's book, The Illusion of Living, released after Joey passed away, where he states in his foreword that certain untruths have come to surface, as well as rumors and backlash. Okay, so we're Henry. We created all these characters, but Joey Drew took credit and made the ink machine. Okay. Which in turn fueled public suspicion that Joey Drew was not actually the genius they made out to be. Need I mention that Nathan Arch and Joey were friends since childhood? But make of that what you will, I know where I stand on it. Anyway, in the same year they started up, they released Little Devil Darling, in their first cartoon, which featured the first of Henry's creations, Bendy, a character that would go on to help sell US war bonds. Bendy was also heavily advertised as well, hence all of the old Bendy cardboard cutouts around the studio. That same year, Henry's second character, Boris, a friend of Bendy's who tried to keep him out of trouble, joined the lineup and he featured as Boris the Wolf in the cartoon Sheep Songs. These two cartoons brought great success to the company, but Joey naturally wanted more. In 1930, Henry designs Alice Angel, and she makes her first appearance three years later in Sent from Above. Alice Angel didn't do as well as the other two, but due to the continued popularity of Bendy, Joey starts up a subsidiary of Joey Drew Studios and creates Heavenly Toys. Around 1930, Henry decides to leave the studio and spend more time with his wife Linda. Henry just wasn't happy working there due to Joey taking and never giving anything back. Only last year at the company. You see, working at the studio wasn't all that great. Due to Joey being so focused on money, the work conditions were appalling. He had a high staff turnover, many staff would leave or would be fired. In the employee handbook, it states that overtime is frequently required in order to keep up with deadlines, but the staff would actually be paid for that overtime as they were salaried. He set up an infirmary in the studio so the staff that were sick could still do their work whilst ill. Oh, and they only got five days of paid holiday per year. Don't use all at once. 
Anyway, in 1935, the studio created the Butcher Gang, and Bendy has a run-in with them in the cartoon title The Butcher Gang. Joey, being the money-hungry, <coughs> ambitious person that he is, decides that he wants to cash in on Bendy's popularity by hiring famed theme park designer Bertram Piedmont to design something called Bendyland. He bought some land, and as we can see here, Bertram was spending a lot of money. But in 1944, the company is now in big trouble. They are under investigation by the IRS for non-payment of back taxes, but Joey Drew vehemently denies this, claiming it's just disgruntled ex-employees or their rivals. However, two years later on from that, the company starts failing to pay its employees. The highest outflow in this month, as you can see, was money spent on special projects. The truth of the matter, though, is that Grant Cohen, head of finance for the studio, Okay, so... <laughs> I mean, Emmy, you're not wrong. So, Joey ran with it so hard and ran into the ground so much that he pretty much drove the company into bankruptcy, especially because he was funneling funds into creating the ink machine, is what I'm picking up. Informs Joey of his concern that his goals and visions were bigger than the financial capacity of the company. It's clear that the studio is in bad shape. Joey Drew is desperate for the studio not to go under, so he attempts to try and revolutionize the industry. Not so much to save his company, but so he can make even more money and continue living his lavish lifestyle. One of the special projects that Joey had commissioned was the design of an ink machine. This ink machine was a breakthrough in artistic technology. The employee handbook states that this machine was designed to pump out high quality ink throughout the studio and was also to be used to create life size productions of anything they could think of. The ink from this machine could be collected and placed into a contraption called an ink maker machine in order to make gears, pipes, wrenches, anything really. Now, quite what sort of magic or sorcery is making this happen is unknown. According to this recording, one of Joey Drew's motivations was belief. The belief can make you achieve your dreams, and for him at least, means him becoming rich and powerful. At some point in the 1940s, Joey teamed up with Gent, more specifically, one of their engineers, Thomas Connor. Over the months in designing this machine, Thomas. Oh, by the way, um, I said this at the beginning, but I know people are kind of coming in um that is the uh video we're watching it's from gaming harry go subscribe uh it's very high quality very well made video uh make sure to support the creator all right Tom, to report back to Gent. However, Tom became concerned that Mr. Drew's expectations seem to be changing regularly. He mentions that what started as a machine to make life-size items out of ink has now turned into something else, teetering on the verge of magic. Eventually, they did finish it, and the idea was that it would turn 2D sketches, like comic strips or drawings, into physical 3D models, kind of like a 3D printer. At some point, as mentioned earlier, some magic was involved. Joey was wanting to bring the creations to life, and this was his big chance. Now, it's not clear yet what this magical force is, and it's more likely on the side of the occult, judging from the ritualistic symbols that we see around the studio. Ink yeah. would be inserted into the machine, but something would happen to the ink on its way through the machine, churning out a magic and quite malicious substance. According to the novels by Adrienne Kress, it is almost as if the ink would move around, as if it was sentient. In the last one, the novel, one of the characters, Bill, mentions that something in the ink is trying to grab him, likely the searchers who just seem to pop up from inside pools of ink. On Tom and Joey's first attempt, they tried to create a 3D version of Bendy. This backfired, though, and for some reason, according to Tom Connor anyway, Bendy seemed off, like he was a soulless being. This creation of theirs had a creepy grin on its face. Joey Drew was worried that it would scare off the investors, so he had Tom dismantle it and leave it in the research and development offices. But unknown to them, they have birthed something horrible. A monster. A demon. An ink demon. As dismantled Bendy lay on the side, one of the employees working on Bendy Land called Lacey Benton would become paranoid that it was moving when she turned back. The rejects, or basically the failed products of the ink machine, were called the lost ones. These ones just became a mass of black ink and yellow glowing eyes. Many of the old staff members of the studio would have likely ended up as lost ones. The successful creations, I guess, were Norman Polk turning into the projectionist monster, Alison Pendle becoming Good Alice, Tom Connor becoming a counterpart of Boris the Wolf, a, a clone if you like. There were the various Boris and Butcher gang clones, but I don't know who they used to be. The ink machine would pump ink throughout the studio via pipes. Tom Connor relayed concerns that the piping wouldn't be capable of holding the ink's pressure, and lo and behold, pipes were bursting regularly. Okay. So some kind of occult magic we're not super sure of, at least maybe not yet, the story, maybe he'll get into it, was working with this ink machine that we don't know exactly how it's working. Hi, can you pronounce my name with a P, not the L, please? Thank you, I might hop in and stay later. If not, enjoy the game. Well, I appreciate that. So is it Fopkner? It, do I pronounce the K? Is it Fopner? Is it Fopner or Fopkner? Because I, I will say that is a little difficult for, for my, uh, my basic ass. It's fast because ADHD brain, and I don't want to spend a half hour watching it, so, you know. Much to the dismay of Wally Franks, the janitor, who had to clean it up all the time. Employees started to get suspicious of this machine and the mysterious- Also, thank you for the incredible kind of $5. Think. Until one day, a gopher called Buddy and a writing intern named Dot decided to investigate. They found out that the ink had created an ink demon, and as a result, they attempted to drown it in ink underneath the stage. To do this, they had to damage the machine. Buddy got dragged down with the ink demon, though, and came out different, but we will get to that. Buddy can see his human, dead body laying on the floor, and Joey Drew appears. Mr. Drew blames Tom for the machine and the creation of Bendy, saying that Tom led him astray. Mr. Drew mentioned that there was something missing. Ink Bendy didn't have a soul, and that was the missing piece in his creation. Mr. Drew says that Buddy gave him the soul he needed for his creation to come to life, and that Buddy's purpose was to save Bendy. Buddy realizes that his purpose has to be protecting the world from the ink demon and from the machine. Buddy becomes Boris and runs away and hides in the studio. He is Boris the Wolf, whom we meet in the game. Due to the machine being broken, Tom is instructed by Joey Drew to take the machine. Okay, so yeah. They come out weird and soulless, so this crazed, money-hungry guy is like, I know how to put a soul in there. It's just Faulkner with a P, so... Fop... Fop... P to K is difficult for me. Faulkner. Faulkner. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. 
changing to Atlantic City, where it will be repaired. I can only assume after this the ink machine ended up back at Joey Drew's apartment, as we can see it in his garage at the end of the game. But did Joey have a separate one built? A bigger, better one? Because the one we see in the game is way bigger than the one in Joey's apartment. Also, this letter here from Alison to Joey. She states that Tom is still mad about someone stealing one of his dusty inventions from the studio, and obviously the ink machine. But anyway, let's uh, let's talk about Sammy Lawrence. <laughs> Sammy Lawrence was the music director at Joey Drew Studio. He was an award-winning composer and musician. He created the scores, the sound effects, recorded the voice actors and actresses. He oversaw pretty much everything in that regard. He worked hard and was by description pretty cranky, and we see him in a game like this. But how did he end up this way? Well, we have to dive into dreams come to life in order to find out. Remember before I mentioned Buddy, the gopher for the studio? Well, just after he'd started working there, he had to deliver something to the music department. And Sammy walked in, covered head to toe in ink. He was literally choking on the stuff. He managed to regain his composure and took Buddy over to the closet in his department. Sammy told him that he was looking in there. And remember I mentioned the pipes and the pipes not being able to withstand the pressure of the ink? Well, the pipe burst all over Sammy. A few days later, Buddy had to take him something else to the music department, and Sammy had a half-empty bottle of ink next to him. Buddy walked away, returned back to look at Sammy, and the bottle was now empty. But Buddy noticed a spot of ink by Sammy's mouth. It turned out later in the novel that Sammy was indeed drinking the ink. Eventually, Sammy was just as much consumed by the ink as he was consuming it. He began to worship Ink Bendy, even at some points referring to Bendy as his savior. In the game, he tried to provide Henry as a sacrifice to, in his words, free his body from the inky prison it was trapped inside. Sammy appeared to meet his end when Tom hit him around the head with an axe, and he simply dissolved away. Okay, so Sammy just got high off his own supply, essentially. Like, he, he, was, he was not turned into anything by the ink machine, but he was covering himself and consuming ink so much that he just lost his mind. Alice Angel was a new addition to the friendship of Bendy and Boris. Her character was designed with the idea that she typically tried to foil Bendy's attempts at causing mayhem, but there's sometimes a bit of confusion as there are two Alices in the game. There's a good Alice, and a twisted Alice. The studio initially hired an actress named Susie Campbell to voice the character. However, this didn't last long, as Joey decided to replace Susie with another voice actress called Alison Pendle. Joey mentions in his staff memo that he has taken with her beautiful voice, and he likes her because she is different. Joey then had Alison re-record all of Susie's lines. Susie, of course, didn't take this line down. She eventually began referring to herself as Alice in voice notes. She mentions here as well that Joey Drew wishes to meet with her as he has an opportunity for her, and he takes her for lunch. Susie Campbell, judging by this image of a coffin with a name on it, died, and her body is in there. But her soul is trapped inside the twisted version of Alice Angel, and twisted Alice would harvest from dead clones of Boris and the members of the Butcher Gang in order to try and maintain her beauty. She was killed by good Alice after Henry fought with and defeated through Boris. During her time working there as a voice actor, Alison Pendle struck up a relationship with Tom Connor. I believe this was a massive disappointment to Joey Drew, who I think was attracted to her himself. In one memo to his staff where he mentions that he's taken with her voice and charm, and at the bottom it says it's to be distributed to all staff apart from Susie Campbell. Now given that Joey is quite erratic, and judging by the language in his letter, effective immediately, he hadn't even told Susie about the change. She had to find out the hard way. It's clear Alison got the job because Joey was sweet on her. This is further strengthened when you see the wedding invite from Tom and Alison for Joey Drew. Joey declined to attend. Anyway, Alison and Tom moved on, and it's revealed at the end of the game Alison is still writing to Joey after all those years, and she's now working for Archgate Films. Okay. Alright, I followed that. Right, so we've already discussed what kind of man Joey Drew was. Hey, Nico. Thank you for the incredible kind four months. Feel a little out of it, nice to buy my turn to stream modding. I'll be trying my best. Anyway, I hope the stream is all well. Hey, no worries. Do your best. Thank you. And if you have to step away, feel free. Was a man who would step on someone else just to reach his goal. In his memoir, The Illusion of Living, Joey writes about his upbringing and his secrets of past. Born in 1901, Joey grew up in Patterson, New Jersey. His father was a shoemaker. And oh, you know, that makes too much sense. Joe Drew's from New Jersey. This all, this all adds up. Opened his own shoe store, but Joey didn't want to work in the family business. The family was poor, but they never struggled to live. When he was young, he asked his mother how his father managed to get the shoe orders out on time, and she replied that the shoe elves help him. One night, Joey snuck up to his father's workshop, and true to what his mother had told him, he heard elves chatting. He poked his head around the door, excited, but it was actually his father who was making the elf voices. His father explained to him that he gets lonely whilst making the shoes, so he creates these voices to keep him company. This sparks something in Joey, and he now believes that fantasizing and make-believe actually make people's lives better. Later in life, Joey joined the military and fought in World War One. Joey was too young to enlist, but he lied on his form. Joey was also a man who would shaft other people regularly in order to make people think highly of his genius, even if he had nothing to do with it. He tried to take credit for Bendyland when Bertram Piedmont designed it and built it. Right in front of everyone. High level investors, Wall Street tycoons. The ever tactless Joey Drew introduces me, the great Bertram Piedmont, as Bertie. Like I was his child. Called him Bertie in public in a way that belittled him, and eventually threw him out and turned him into this. Another example is an argument between Tom and Joey Drew oh, in the Dreams Come to Life novel, where Tom states that Joey stole his machine from him, and that the machine was his life's work. Fun fact, Tom was actually fired by Joey Drew in this argument, but of course, in the most Joey Drew way possible, he hired him again when he realized that the ink machine was busted and needed repairing. And this is how the machine ended up in Atlantic City. Joey Drew clearly holds a grudge against Henry after quitting the studio, but we know the real reason he's angry. Henry isn't around to make Joey money off his designs anymore, because that's what Joey does. Joey uses people. Henry saw it early on and managed to get out. Joey even goes as far as to blame Henry for not pushing him towards the correct path, instead of letting Joey head towards the crooked empire that he was building. You were always so good at pushing, old friend. Pushing me to do the right thing. You should have pushed a little harder. As we know, he left the studio in order to spend more time with his wife Linda, and they moved to Pasadena in California. This is why, at some point, Joey makes digs at Los Angeles. Joey hadn't found an artist as good as Henry since he left the studio. So when young Buddy came along, despite Joey Drew putting a freeze on all new hires due to money concerns, his eyes lit up. This kid was desperate for his dream job being an artist. And according to this, Joey thrives on people that are desperate. Thirty years after he left in 1960, he receives the invitation and the letter from Joey Drew, asking him to come to the old workshop as he needs to show him something. And this leads us to the start of the game. So I do not know for the life of me how I keep ending up picking games with loops in them, but well, this one is no different. It's a loop, or the cycle, as it's more specifically known. Henry attracts an endless loop. He wakes up in Joey Drew's apartment, Joey tells him to go and visit his old workshop, and bam, he's back in the workshop again. At first I didn't consider a loop until I received the glass tool which reveals hidden messages. Upon revisiting the workshop for a second time, we can see tally markings by the entrance, which I guess would indicate that Henry has been here before, many, many times before. There are
This is strange. What's more is that on the court board, there are various letters from Joey's ex-employees, Allison and Tom, Wally Franks, the studio janitor who'd moved to Florida. Did Joey send a letter to everyone to lure them back into the studio and trap them all inside a loop? The thing that's still confusing and pretty much unanswered is this. Is this just a story that Joey wrote into existence with the help of Ink Machine? I guess the game is published under the name of Joey Drew Studios. It's possible that the game is a story written by Joey Drew Studios about Joey Drew Studios. Tell me another one, Uncle Joey. Interesting. Well, he simply managed to trap his ex-employees in the real-life studio into a loop, which resets the moment that Henry kills Ink Bendy. The two novels didn't really tell us much. They only really gave us a bit of backstory about the characters and how they ended up the way they did. But I did actually thoroughly enjoy the novels. There is another game plan for release at some point, Bendy in the Dark Revival, and I hope yeah, we'll find out how Henry and all the other characters are stuck in a loop. Interesting. Huh. I didn't even think that... I thought the loop was going to be like a cool thing, but like... No, that's awesome. Alright, I think that's good enough, right? I feel like that's good enough. Let's once again that was Gaming Harry on YouTube. Go and subscribe. Very talented, obviously. Um, let's pop into the game. I think that's I think that's enough knowledge of these characters. Why is the YouTube bar green? I've got a, a plug-in on Opera to make YouTube, like, a little better. And it comes with uh, color customization. Oh, it's starting. It's also very loud. I'm going to turn it down on my end, but we'll see. See what happens. Is that, um, if that's a good volume for you guys, let me know. Because it's good for me. God damn, this looks clean. Liliana, I'm not going to give you a shout out. Okay. <sighs> yeah, let's get it. Options. Uh, this all looks good. I'll probably turn off motion blur. It tends to make me a little, a little seasick. Uh, subtitles on. Cool. If you're new to the studio, visited, mastered it. Ah, uh, listen. We'll do normal, right? I'm I, I'm not here to be struggling to do combat for ten hours. Let's let's try to beat the game tonight. Yeah. Brightness up? Uh, maybe. That might be a, that might be the move. They're Notably, still Joey Drew Studios. Cues. Those subtitles to are so small. What we want to believe. Sorry, folks. I can't change how big the subtitles are. Those are. But tiny. when you step back, when you really look at where you've been and the things you've done, your past will come. To devour you. All right, cool. Orange Ankyus, I just didn't play the first game. I just watched a lore recap. I'm not beating it tonight. Fucking bet. There you go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. Gotta love animation. No I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably Neat. some downstairs. Oh, Time we're off for a little adventure. Yeah, that was a good call. Somebody said to. Oh, a little menu. This does immediately make me think that we're going to be. Um. 
playing as different characters, or possibly that Audrey is going to change throughout the game. Like, just as a hard read. Yeah, just turn that brightness way up. So sorry, probably name people start paying for shadow. No, you're totally fine. You're totally fine. Um, awesome. Yeah, well, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, and uh, thank you for the incredibly kind five dollars again. Archgate Pictures. That was the people who bought out Bendy, if I remember correctly, or like bought the like later in. Because obviously, like we're making a Bendy cartoon in the seventies, so something has happened. It looks fire. Like, I love this, um... I love the look of this immediately. Oh, something I can interact with in there. There's a lot of Easter eggs. I kind of figured. It's a matter of, like... Is Alice Angel? Who are you? Is that Nathan Arch? So he's probably the guy who owns this company, if I had to guess. Hello? Alright, so something's up because she's like, ah, normal night, but this is not normal. That's very cute art. That is not a character I recognize. That thing. Interesting. I mean, I'll probably end up doing a theory on this game if I, if I have something to say that hasn't already been said, you know? I'll probably... What I'll probably do, honestly, is write a theory and then watch, like, popular theory videos, and if it's, like, different, then I'll go ahead and make the video. That's, that looks like someone from the Butcher Gang, if I had to guess. Uh, well, so Ruin comes out 3 a.m. my time. And obviously I'm not going to stream at 3 a.m. So I'm probably just going to stream that night. The, like, the next 10 p.m. after the game comes out. As much as it'll kill me to wait that long. Really? They locked me in? Good thing I brought my own key today. See, I saw the key on the desk, but the game didn't let me pick it up. Probably, it probably wants me to walk backwards. Bendy the demon. Here? He is a really cute design, to be fair. Bendy is better than Poppy Playtime. I assumed. Why would I not stream at 3am? Because everyone else is asleep. I'd be streaming to like 20 people. Unless we all agree to stay up, that's one thing. Whew. Here's the key. Oh, that's signed by, by Henry. It's hard to read from here. Congratulations on your your best your best pal, Henry Stein. Interesting. So Henry knows Audrey. Bendy's gone again. Uh, uh, Eastern Standard Time, because it comes out midnight Pacific Time. So that's three hours behind me. So it'll come out 3 a.m. my time. Oh, it's a search game. Love that. Very Resident Evil. Speaking of Resident Evil, are you all excited for My Friendly Neighborhood next week? Because I am. The most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. True. Autosave. Not ominous at all. Impulse 7, the incredibly kind 5 Canadian. Uh, I guess gives you time to stream it without people leaving mine to go to yours. Also allows me to watch yours too. Probably at like 12pm. True. 
I mean, there is a chance that I stream it like a cup, like noon or something, but I have a feeling if I stream at 3 a.m., no one's going to be Hello? awake for it. Is someone there? Nico, the incredibly kind $10. Nico, stop, but thank you. There's a lot of certain games allow the ambiance to be at near point serene, not sure if it's false sense of security or balance emotional weight. Yeah, true. No, totally. You're totally right. Hey, no worries, Eleanor. Have a good one. Door open. Uh, hello, I don't know. Probably in like a couple weeks if I had to guess. Audrey. Who the hell is Wilson? Wilson? <sighs> you scared me to death. I'm sorry, my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. This is the You're janitor? late tonight. A pretty girl like you shouldn't be wandering around all by yourself. Mind if I step in? I uh, do mind. Of course not. Thank you, Audrey. I very much do mind. Hey, folks at home, this is what we call... This is what we call creepy guy, all right? If you're a uh, female presenting... And some dude says, a pretty girl like you shouldn't be wandering around alone. Let me accompany you. You run the other fucking way. All right? Do not trust that. Do not trust that. I don't even care if he's not evil. He's creepy. That's all I need to know. You look like you could use a little company. So, it's been really nice this past week. Just beautiful. Gorgeous. What was that? Please tell me we're not trapped in here. Don't you worry, my dear. It's just a little short in this system. Happening a lot these past few days. No need to fret. Thanks, Wilson. Let's see what we can find. We? Come along now. There ain't no we, Wilson. I don't Old like you. Wilson will protect you. Oh my god. I just want to punch this dude in the face. I do not like him. See, here's the smart thing. Don't be in the elevator in case he does something stupid. But don't be near him or the big open void. I'm standing right here. Old, old, old Wilson is a threat. Am I supposed to be doing something? I don't want to talk to him. I'd rather go in the spooky hallway. I cannot. I have to talk to this creepy old man. Fine. Ah, uh, there we are. Just a few more switches to throw. Follow me. It will be perfectly safe. All right, dude, whatever. So it's like an exhibit for Joey Drew, I see, I see. So Joey Drew is dead, right? Because this game is what, 73? The illusion of living. Love that. 
little double entendre there. Wilson's over there? Cool. You can stay over there. I don't like him. Tickets to something. This just seems like a little bit of a catch you up to speed. Like what's going on now kind of room. I like it. Love the little bendy plush. Can I turn down the bloom? It's a little intense. Yeah, I think that'll help. Yeah, that's much nicer. The bloom's just like a little, making things a little hard to see. Silly vision. Bloom was chemically coded to allow for, I, I guess I should read it for everybody. <clears throat> Silly Vision is a cartoon format developed by Joey Drew that allowed the animated cartoons to be completed more efficiently by steamlining the pencil and inking stages, allowing last-minute adjustments to be made directly on the film stock itself. The film was chemically coded to allow for a specially formulated ink to be applied by an artist working on a magnifying table. This allowed for adjustments, action enhancements, or even whole new characters to be added after the cartoon had been photographed. Mr. Drew intended for the format to be used someday to create interactive experiences, where the cartoons could be custom altered to fit the occasion or audience. Interesting, okay. That might be plot relevant, that might have been plot relevant in the first game. Go on, Wilson. Oh, we have the ink machine in here, okay. Well, at least we have the the smaller one that was in the apartment. Can I help you, Wilson? Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. There should be something on each of these pedestals. Audrey. Sweet Audrey. Do an old man a favor and go find them. I'll tend to the power. I don't like this dude. I don't like this dude even a little bit. Oh, I guess back to where we came. Okay. Cog. Well, there's a wrench right here. Um, I know it's supposed to go there, but I want to see if I can hold multiple things at once first. So, there was the, this. Okay, so yeah, I can pick up multiple things at once. Cool. Wilson is Steve Ragland confirmed. True. Trailer moment? Yeah. He's so cute. I need, like, an inkwell. Aha. I already forget what else I needed, so let's put this stuff down and see what else I need. Wrench. Place. Uh, disc. Ugh. Inkwell. Okay, so I need... Oh, the plush. I have that. I already forgot about him. What a good boy. Okay, so I just need two things. I need a cog. What is that? A book? There's so many books. Any book? Oh, you know, it's probably the that one with the title. Yeah, The Illusion of Living. That makes sense. And then we just need... Matthew Lillard is so not Wilson level creepy. Listen, he's a great actor, but he doesn't make he doesn't give me the ick, which is what uh, uh, um, Wilson is giving me. I will say though, I'm sure in the movie, Matthew Lillard will be able to act out enough to give us ick, but as a person, obviously he doesn't. Oh, here we go. Oh, I hated that noise. Bendy really is a cute character design. Okay, uh, book. 
cog. Did you figure it out, Wilson? Only one thing left to do. What? Pull that switch. I don't want to do anything you tell me to, Wilson, to be real with you. Like, if, if the game just said, oh, pull switch, I would have done it. But, like, just the fact that you're telling me to do it, I don't want to do it. Especially, oh, okay, folks in the audience, if a creepy dude like this tells you to do something that requires you to put your back to him, you stand facing him, reach out one arm, and do it. The fact that I'm... Yeah, I have to put my back to him. I don't like that. I do not want to have my back to him at any moment. Wilson? Oh, our trees. The things you've set in motion. What's happening? The ink is calling us, my dear. Can't you hear it? What? Don't fret. We're going home. Stay back. Listen to me, Audrey. Pay attention to these last words. Because very soon, you will forget everything. Let go! Come find me, Audrey. Come find me, and I'll show you your purpose. I'll show you the truth. Folks, this is when you kick him in the nuts. You kick him in the nuts and you run. This can't be real. And now, we die. What are you doing? Good ending. Audrey never let Wilson in the elevator. True. Audrey, I've got terrible news. There's probably much worse, worse. There's probably much worse going on. Oh, Audrey. What's happened to you? Again, as always, everyone knows this. Art style amazing. Let's see what we turned into, huh? Yeah. Dope character design. I had a feeling. Relax, the man who killed the Ink Demon. Wilson knows your purpose. The man who killed the Ink Demon. That's not you, Wilson. Every great story begins in mystery, although things may be dark at the start, truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are, fear only what you may become, and banish it away, your best pal. So that should be Henry, because that's how he signed previously. To Grant Cohen Accounting, please inform Mr. Drew that despite his insistence that the rumors of Joey Drew Studios going bankrupt are untrue, I want to remind him that if his studio does indeed fail, all equipment and experiments produced through our partnership by contract belong to the Gen Corporation. We'll reclaim these assets forcibly if we need to. Alan Gray, CEO. Yeah, that, that, that tracks. Bacon soup. So we burst from the pipe, essentially. Along with, like, the other stuff from that room. Oh, did I get the book? I meant to grab it.
pipes? A pipe? Take them both. Why not? Favorite topping on toast? Honestly, butter's hard to go wrong. I usually go with a plant-based butter with olive oil in it. Um, jelly, like grape jelly goes hard. If I'm feeling particular, butter, then jelly. Just saying, it's pretty good. Who's crying at us? Oh, they're probably up there. I am curious to see what'll happen if I just wade my way into the water. I guess there's nothing in here for me. All right, we'll go up the ladder. Oh, puzzle solving. Before I even knew the puzzle was there. Cool. Jeez, you think I was drowning kittens the way these people are looking at me. I've never seen such disappointment in a person's eyes. But this is the way of things. If management can't pay their bills, then the bank takes the goodies back. Still, it doesn't break me a bit knowing how much I love them old cartoons. Uh, this place used to make. Oh well, time's chain, life moves on. Telly Wester. Capitalism's got a capitalism, baby. Uh, C is crouched. I did not get that. I was pressing control earlier. Attention, children of the machine. This is Wilson, your friend, your protector. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. I banished him away. Tore his body in two. In return, I ask just a little favor. Among you, there is a stranger, a young lady. Bring her to me. Of course, Wilson takes us into his creepy little fantasy world where he gets a power trip. Joey, Jack and I have been wondering if you could meet with us considering the current situation. We've been with you for many years and we feel we've contributed to the success of Bendy in the past. Our interest is purely in keeping the company strong. We want to help however we can. Let's talk Sammy. Well, you know how well that went. Cool. Parts. Um. So we have a locker to hide in. Which immediately makes me think we're going to have to hide it, but we'll see how that goes. Ooh, got something here. The, the ink drips. Darkness has spread throughout this studio. This, I can't read the whole thing like that, are you kidding me? Um, this place is basically Wilson's fanfic world. Exactly. You give a creepy guy the power to create, and this is what he does. The darkness has spread through the studio. The reaching shadows creep around you. Something hungers for your corrupted flesh. It is close, so very close. Yeah, Wilson, that creepy motherfucker. It strains to grab you, choke you from behind. You'll feel its breath upon your neck. It is close. Didn't like that for me, to be honest. by the incredibly kind two dollars enjoy the game it's good it's good so far although gotta be honest not trusting anything I see okay so we cannot run away yet cool design just gonna Walk around you real quick. Come on, voice acting. All right, I'll do a voice. I just can't do that voice. It's too quiet. Listen. Yeah, okay. I just received the call. Joey Drew is dead. What a quiet end to an extraordinary life. No subtitles? Last I heard he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You practically hear the rats in the telephone. 
spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? Oh, so I have to go to the pause menu for the subtitles. Nico with another five dollars. Stop. Thank you, though. This is messing with my head. Just finished Wonderland Suffering Game Arc of Adventure Zone. Had a lot of psychological battle world suit. True, actually. God, I need to re-listen to Adventure Zone. It's so good. Security override and yeah, okay, that's a hide. Figured something like that was gonna happen. I'm waiting for the shoe to drop, you know what I mean? What if I just hide? I saw that hold left shift to run. What if I just hide? The question is, is it gonna come from there or behind me? Cause I see the blue ink. We're going. We're going in. I'm a little cautious. I'm waiting for it. I I can tell when they're building tension in this game. I've played enough horror games to know how this goes. Really? Okay, I totally misread that situation. Butcher Gang, Alessandro, Boris the Wolf, Bendy. Okay, so we can hide in here too. Now what about this way though? Okay, it's just closed. Alright. Big Boris. The lever for that door. I'm gonna climb up here though. It wants me to go that way, so let's open this door first, yeah? I've not checked out Little Nightmares yet. That didn't work yet? Okay. I gotta do something to activate that. Got it. Oh, hello. What do I do? Run, got it. Run and hide, can do. I was reading chat, I'll be honest. Did not work. Likes the song. Low on health, grab a snack. Okay, so food is health. Got it. Oh, bacon soup. Gotta love it. I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you. Oh yeah, let's patch you up. But the aftertaste, it's not so good. Easy now. I'm not gonna hurt you. It looked like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. But you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. A wolf? Like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. 
I hope we meet again. Oh, and one more thing. Above everything else, stay away from the ink demon. Oh, What's would you? Demon? Would you believe it? Wilson's oh, a liar. You'll know him when you see him. He likes to smile, and he kills anything that moves. Got Wait. it. T-Rex rules. Hold still. What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey. Welcome to the studio. So I, I can sense that some kind of crafting is going to be involved in this game. With just like the amount of small things that I'm picking up. Winds are changing around here. I'm asking myself, Sean, what are you doing? There's a whole world out there, places to see, family to spend me days with. A family to spend me days with. So your job is just a job. I'll have others like it. No worry there. The important thing is we should remember to live. It's uh, time I did just that. I guess we'll try to climb this again. Mining and crafting, Minecraft stream. Yeah, folks, if you liked uh, the stream and the vibes here, next week, probably not next week because we have My Friendly Neighbor and then a horror game. Um, oh, well, election ends next week. There's a, a, a FNAF creator and horror creator SMP going on right now. Uh, you can see it in my last stream, and uh, my last two streams, I believe, and I'll probably be doing a weird stream at some point um, next week on a weird time. For the election because there's currently a mayoral election of which i'm running so you know it's pretty cool uh, around here it's best to stay out of sight don't ever go running into some place you don't know what's in there if you attack a problem head on you're going to find yourself in trouble and that's just foolish you gotta watch listen when the time is right push forward so again your best pal that's henry judge just judging from what we had in the office a new terror has descended into our lives. Okay, so this is, I thought this was Wilson. But this man named Wilson. Ever since then, this world feels strange, like a great beast held in chains. The ink demon has been seen over a long time. Many of us refuse to believe he's really gone. But what does it matter down here? We're all sinners. Children of the machine all have the demon in our inky blood. Who's leaving those notes? That looks like the way forward, so let's go this way real quick. It's interesting that I can close that. Oh, that's the way forward. Okay. So let's go this way then. I'm trying not to, I wanna like explore everything first, you know? Is this also the way forward? No, okay, that ends there. In sheep songs. <laughs> we'll, we'll listen to these in the pause mini so you guys can have subtitles. My friendly neighbor comes out on Tuesday. In some four years. I don't intend on starting now. I got my corner, my little sipping canteen, and I do get mine. Double quota. I ain't even done half in months. Oh, but they won't fire me, no, sir. Place is big. No one knows what everyone else is doing. So I'll turn up my radio. You put up my feet, 
cut the hole in my socks. Five o'clock comes easy around here. <laughs> Buddy. Fair enough, Angus. You guys ready for some trauma? Because I see a mirror. Where is the toy man? Yeah, so those Gen Corporation boys are kind of strange. Every time I come back to work, they put in even more of their pointless gadgets. Now, last week, huh, they uh, they built some kind of, I don't know, electrical towers over near Animation Alley. This week, they added security codes for opening doors. Jeez, what kind of work do they think we do here anyways? Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. <laughs> this ain't Fort Knox, you know what I mean? Now, it's my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers? Yeah, no freaking thank you! I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna record the dog code here so I don't forget it. Mm. <clears throat> right. Got it. The code is 451. Four five one. And if uh, Mr. Drew or Mr. Gray asks, you didn't hear it from me. Okay. Oh, interesting. I need to go check on something super fast. In the meantime, this is apparently a Easter egg, uh, a cameo of Super Horror Bros. We already heard it, but you know, let's do it again. I just received the call. Joey Drew is dead. What a quiet end to an extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You could practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now?
They're back. They're back. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. I'm guys. I'm gonna be so. I'm gonna be so goddamn for real. Um, I had to help with the baby, but then I made myself some iced coffee and got a protein snack, because to quote the great Brian David Gilbert, "You're not my friends, and you have no say what I uh, over what I do with my body." Chair. Sophocles true. Yeah, it's like eleven forty PM. I need some coffee. Mods killed Jack Robert Walton. Well, okay, you can time them out if you want to be gracious. I don't care either way. It's actually pretty good. Target just put these protein bars out there. They're energy bars, it's just high protein. It's peanut butter chocolate chip with a chocolate flavored drizzle. It's actually, it's got a really good flavor. And the texture is like okay for a protein bar. Where were we? Oh yeah. Four five one. some toy parts. All right then. He sees everything. Probably not though. If we're gonna be real. I don't wanna We're not listening to Wilson's goddamn voice. It seems that the Archgate Studios and all it's, or, you know, I'll listen to how he pronounces it though. It seems that Archgate. Arch. It seems that Archgate Studios and all its misplaced admiration was so eager to absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan Joey Drew, they didn't fully realize what they had acquired. Call it fate that I just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning, when the delivery boys dropped one of the crates that smashed open, and inside there was something truly special. A mass of yellow steel and beautiful yellow steel and beautiful rivets. Some kind of machine. No one knew what it was, so the fools put it on display for all to see. But I could tell that this crude device held secrets. Secrets that could be mine. <laughs> you know what, love you puppy? Fair though. What if I don't? Sucker. Wilson knows. Does he? Do I have to turn around here? No? Okay, cool. What if I go in this? It's not fast travel. It's just a puddle. Oh. Duh. You're good, Emmy. It, it, it's over. So either either Nika killed him or, or he stopped. <laughs> Probably should look down like hallways before I just walk past them. Now that I think about it.
Is this a hide? It is. It's a. Ooh, I'm gonna crouch in there. Was it the door that I just saw get closed by someone else? Probably. God. Neeking out, I want a bagel. What's this? Some ink, I guess. Uh, oh! I'm sorry? Hello? Okay, that's just how we upgrade. Cool, I guess. Uh, stamina. Feels like the good one. I did not expect that upgrade system, but okay. Oh, so this is like a long, long game then. I should have guessed with all these like little tiny collectibles. soup so is, is this uh, the food something I can access in the pause menu okay so no that just heals me in the moment so I should leave food just on the ground in case I need it later is what I'm getting thought I could okay yeah, yeah. You know, lovely puppy? That's a good question. I have no idea. I saw somebody walk past. I have a feeling someone's going to chase after me in one of these directions. So I'll go that way if they do. Right? Because I can just go down that. Yeah, that is the closest hiding spot I have. Bacon soup? Honestly? Like a cream, like a cream of potato soup with bacon in it? Probably goes hard. Man, I want cream soup. I'm, I think I'm just hungry. <laughs> I think every time we say food and I go, man, I could go for that. I think that means I'm just hungry. Caution, keep closed. Nuh-uh. Fuck you mean, nuh-uh. It's just the, uh, you, you took everything from me. Nuh-uh. Such a good meme. Animation Alley. One word away from my favorite spot at conventions, Artist Alley. It looks like that little... It looks like that little hypnosis thing. Um, from Futurama. Do you know what I mean? We can save from here. Ah, cool. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Hold on. I'll pull up a picture on my phone and I'll hold it up. Pizza or bacon soup? Pizza, fucking obviously. What? How's that a question? Futurama baby thing. Yeah. This guy. It looks like this guy. I gotta turn my brightness down. It looks like this guy. That's what just attacked me. This fucking thing. I don't know why I thought he... I, I was thinking... I confused him and Hypnotoad. Not Hypnotoad. That fucking thing. Everyone knows that a happy work environment needs a place where you can sit back and enjoy something tasty. I'm Joey Drew, and you're standing in our grand, expensive... 
family always deserves the best. By partnering with Briar Label and Tasty Bens, I'm able to provide the most delicious treats at a very cheap cost to our workers. Pull up a chair and shout out, my friends. Uh, oh wait, Nika, you said New Jersey pizza, best pizza outside of Italy. So I'm going to fight you on this. I think, now I live like essentially in Philly. So I'm used to Philadelphia, which is essentially just like a New York, New Jersey style, like that thin crust. I think, and let me look up what style of pizzas are what before I put my foot in my mouth here. Yeah, I think Detroit style pizza is the best kind of pizza. It's sauce, cheese on top, thick, thick, thick crust. Like we're talking this thick crust, like a, a basically like a, a focaccia bread with pizza on top. That's well, perfect. Couldn't do better. The thicker the crust, the better. But a, a, a sec second to that is that like New Jersey, New York style thin slice pizza. Thin crust pizza. Especially if you can get some uh, uh, green peppers and onions on there. Well, it sings. There's a, there's a place we always go to when we go down to the Jersey Shore that serves that kind. Detroit become pizza. True. Oh, I want to go in the bacon soup hole. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to peep through here, but it's too blurry. Maybe I need like a lens or something. Shouldn't know from the sheets reference, true. I will take second place. Like I said, don't get me wrong, New York, like New Jersey style pizza, stop eating food. It's good, do not get me wrong. It's just not as good as Detroit style, which I think is the best. Although I will stay. Uh, if you like tomato pie or any other kind of pizza where the cheese goes on bottom and the sauce goes on top, you're wrong and terrible. Thin crust or thick crust? I like both, but I do think thick crust is better. It, it's sure giving me a lot of places to hide and nothing to hide from yet, which is a little worrying. Before I open that, let me check over here. Cause there was this whole area I didn't go to. The problem is like, I want to explore and like look at everything, but I don't know what will trigger like moving forward and what won't. Main, st main studio, that feels like I'm moving forward. So let's go this way. I'll probably have to go this way to get like a key or something anyway. There are no pizza wars. Although I'll tell you what, I'm about to start a pizza war right now in chat. Pineapple on pizza is good if there's also ham. Pineapple and ham go incredibly well together. It gives you savory and sweet, which goes beautifully on a pizza. You can find me on that. But I am right. Okay, that, that ends. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I, I, it seems like I need a lot of keys. Yeah, sauce has to be on the bottom. If you're putting sauce on your cheese, get the hell out of here. Cheese is the best part of the pizza. I even like white pizza, which is just like Alfredo sauce and cheese. It's barely pizza. I just really like cheese, frankly. Now that's the pizza war I wanted to start. Is this what, is this what I was peeping at earlier? So it wants me to do... I don't have the key, do I? Let's do it in the menu so we can get our goddamn subtitles. Since they I'm don't give it to us in the main game. Different in my career. I've built steel companies from the ground up, dabbled in petroleum, even tried political office once. 
that Nathan Arch, they used to say. He's got the magic touch. But I'm hungry for a bit of fun, I think. Something both the masses and I can enjoy. My son suggested movies. Open a studio. Now I love a good film as much as anyone, but the magic of animation. Now there's something special. My old friend Joey knew the thrills of bringing characters to life. Rest his soul. Maybe with a bit of elbow grease and a small cash investment, I can resurrect the past. Somebody just said pineapple without pizza is bad. Uh, pineapple is probably my second favorite fruit. Banana, then pineapple. Um, banana is by far the best fruit. Like, it comes in its own container. You can eat it with one hand. It tastes good, and it's good for you. Great. It's got a lot of sugar, but, you know. Best pizza. Okay, so as far as best pizza goes, honestly, just a cheese pizza is hard to beat. Like, nine times out of ten, if you add stuff to pizza, it's just going to be, like, a little worse, but still good in a different way. Like, not worse, but, like, it'll be too... It, it's different, you know? I do like pepperoni on a pizza. I think I still prefer plain cheese pizza. But... I will say, there's two pizzas that sing to my heart. If we're talking greasy, gross nonsense, there's a honey mustard chicken pizza near, um near where I live one of the places makes it and it is so good and also cheesesteak chicken cheesesteak pizza goes hard but there's one pizza in Philadelphia in a restaurant that I don't think is open anymore the restaurant was called oh man what was the restaurant called Zavino's. I don't think Zavino's is open anymore, unfortunately. But there's a restaurant called Zavino's that had a pizza called The Stash. It's by far the best pizza I've ever had, but it's barely pizza. Okay? I I understand this is barely pizza. But it's delicious. Alright? There's no tomato sauce. It's thin crust. A lemon aioli. Pistachio pesto. Um, arugula cheese and lemon flakes it is insanely delicious but i think that's just because i like pesto like if you've never had pizza but instead of tomato sauce pesto it's beautiful did you say chimkin yes chimkin pickles are good just not on pizza yeah i mean like a meat lover's pizza is good i will never turn down pizza frankly the only thing I don't like on pizza is probably like anchovies or something. And then again, I haven't had it in a couple years, so I'm willing to try it. But, oh, olives. I can't do olives. Something about olives. My body just rejects them. I can't do them. All right. So I'm so distracted talking about pizza, dude. Pizza's so good. Looks like he's having a bad day. All right, Audrey, we are having a bad day. Thank you. Demon follower. Is that supposed to be blue or is it like a weird like visual glitch that my computer's doing? Cuz I'm noticing blue ink. Okay, that's a hide. Ready your tickets for inspection. A lot of parts which is good this looks like i can't pick it up yet it looks like i'm going to have to pick that up at some point i'm assuming we're gonna find like a basic weapon and we can just use these parts to upgrade it which i'm super down for like tomb raider 2016 is one of my favorite games and this is reminding me of that none pizza with left beef a classic i'm a meat lover's pizza guy especially stuff like pepperoni bacon italian sausage i mean all of those are classics Locked again? This is getting old. Break the lock. Okay. I bet I need that pipe now, huh? Or not. Okay. Audrey, it's Alice. Can you hear me? 
Yes. Oh. Hello? This is Audrey? a home? Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Uh, Alice, I think you and I have very different definitions of all right. Where are you? Animation department entrance? But it's locked up tight. Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything you can use to break in. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. What was that? There's something in here. Audrey, find that gent pipe. Now. Oh, it's right here. It's not there. It's not right there. That was not the right pipe. It's over here. There's the gent pipe. Well, I don't even know what was attacking me. <laughs> we need to get the lights working first. What was attacking me? I didn't even look. Store power to the atrium supply. Okay, I saw power outside. Pescatarian is half the time all you can get is cheese. We well, can do tomato sauce though. Or are you saying like besides tomato sauce as the default you can only get cheese? Like I said, cheese pizza is like really goddamn good. So you're not missing out on too much. Like my wife's a vegetarian. I, well, she does chicken, so I guess a um I forget the term. There's a term for like just chicken and fish. Um, she doesn't do red meat. Just wanted to eat that donut right quick. Uh, I should save you. I don't super know where the power is supposed to be. Gent card required, okay. Like, I feel like I'm missing something that's supposed to be obvious. Oh, I said to go that way. Oh, there's power, I see it. If I find you, I'm gonna rip your face off. Rain crouch, stay low, and keep your footsteps from being heard. Watch your enemies carefully so you may pass through safely. Some of the detects you find a place to hide or get away fast. Should just pass by behind him, I guess. Yeah, he's going to the workshop table. I'll just go this way. Don't mind me, sir. Just heading over to power. God, I want pizza for dinner now that you mention it. Missing a fuse. Let's see if I can find one. To find a fuse? Can I go this way? To go back that way? Do I have it already? Yeah, no shot. Okay. I don't like not having a weapon, because I kind of want to beat his ass. Is he still at that table? Yeah. Oh, good. That's helpful. That was the exact issue I was having earlier. At least the game's like, hey, idiot, the fuse is over here. This is my path. Mine. No one can take it from me. Doop 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 boop boop doop boop. Just saying, this stealth right here is what Security Breach was trying to do the whole game and kind of failed to the entire game.
Oh, now I gotta go over there. Okay. Who's out here? Kitchen's closed. Come this way? Sounds like he's coming this way. He's so goopy. Had a feeling, had a feeling, had a feeling, had a feeling. Yeah, I'm kinda fucked. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, thought so, thought so, thought so, thought so. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, 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 fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine. I can't hide during combat, but I can't, I can't. Okay, we're just gonna grab it. We just gotta grab it and go. We just gotta grab it and go. I can't interact during combat. What do I do then? We're so fine, we're so fine, we're so fine, we're so fine. So that could have been better. I'll be honest. Luckily, where did everyone go? He forgot. Why don't they answer? I was trying to hide in the little barrels. This is a much better hiding spot, by the way. How do I get past the guy? Oh, you know what? I know what I have to do. Is the soup ready yet? I have to hide in this barrel and wait for him to walk past, don't I? Yeah, now he can walk past me and I can sneak in. Yeah, that could have gone better. Miracle stations are always usable. If I had to guess, in hard mode, they probably aren't. Or it's just things do more damage to you in hard mode. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. Cool, cool. Happy birthday to me. Audrey, shut the fuck up. We are trying to hide. Now is not time for a sneaky remark, Audrey. Is dead, but, 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 but I saw him. I did. Captions? Captions? Question mark? 
Are captions only for like some things? I have subtitles on. Bro, what the fuck? Gotta be some of the most useless subtitles. Evelyn, don't feel bad about it at all. That's totally the point of it. It's totally fine. Table two wants a side of potatoes. Later. There's stuff in there that I want. <laughs> no, you don't see me. Ah ha ha, sneaky sneaky. It does look and run much better than Security Breach. Although again, Ruin looks very promising. I am excited to see what they did what they did. I'm very hopeful. I see, so it's supposed to be blurry because you're just getting like a vague idea of what's going on over there. We can peek? Oh, this is peak. One of these was a hideable barrel, right? Of course, that one is. Love that for me. He said the ink demon was dead, but I saw him. I did. Not standard enemies, but I want all the dial dialogue to be subtitled. Plan on playing it on my Steam Deck. Oh, we wanted to get a Steam Deck on the Steam Summer Sale, which totally forgot. Probably gonna get it in the fall sale. Hype for Ruin, I would say eight out of 10. I'm trying to keep my expectations in check so I don't like end up setting myself up to be disappointed. But I am genuinely excited to see what they have to like say and do. Plug. Go. Cool. Lights are on. Time to get that gent pipe. I want my weapon. Steam Deck is peak. Yeah. Well, big thing about the Steam Deck is like, if we want to play games, and me and my wife want to play games at the same time, but then like our son wakes up, one of us has to go and help him. So if we're playing like Apex Legends, then one of us can go do that and still keep playing, but in bed. So for us, it's like a very good purchase. Mortuary Assistant had a huge update? I'm excited. I've seen Mortuary Assistant gameplay, so like I know it's up, but I've been very excited to play it. And I, I, I didn't watch like any like full plays or anything. Best FNAF character is Captain Foxy, because he's so spiffy. Sucker. I also really think the FNAF movie lore would be the game lore. I think it's going to be a good bit different. I think it's going to be like the Silver Eyes novels, right? Where it's a different story, but with like, sim with like some of the same characters and like a s the same rule set. I'm going to close that, so I don't worry about it. At the end of every crumbling empire, you gotta hide the treasures. Mr. Cohen brought me in to catalog and secure some of Joey Drew's more special assets in places no one will ever find them. <laughs> sure, that sounds completely legal, right? Anyway, I'll be leaving some clues around so we can find them later. Just remember, this nonsense wasn't my idea. So, here's my first little hint. I finally found a use for those silly motivational posters here in the atrium offices. They're sure to make quite an impact oh God, I can't believe I just said that. I see so if we smack the motivational posters we will get like stuff hidden behind them I understand that's a nice little thingy there the machine must endure I got bad news buddy
cool, full health. That's food, leave that. I mean, I'm thinking Ruin's going to be horror. And you know what? Hammed, go for it. Put your math question in chat. Maybe I'll know it. We're playing with fire, no question about it. First, Jen comes in here and puts thick, heavy pipes over everyone's head. Must weigh a ton. Then Joey opens up the place for tourists and general public. Are we really thinking this through? For Pete's sake, Sammy's music department is constantly flooded. And while I was giving a tour last week, we almost had a whole dang wall when a valve blew out. Stupid tour group applauded, thinking it was part of the show. I know Joey's looking to drum up some cash lately, but this, this just asking for a disaster to strike. One good accident, there's going to be a landslide of trouble. I wonder if Wilson looks like that because of an accident from one of the tours. Because something happened to Wilson for sure. Dark puddles are calling? Not me. Oh, gentle boy. The puddles, the puddles are calling. Let me just take this real quick. Don't mind me. At least now I can defend myself. All one tool for surviving many dangers. The gent pipe has many useful functions and upgrades once you find the right parts and schematics. To use, press the L left mouse button to attack enemies and break objects. All right, let's see if we can upgrade this thing yet. Ah, but I have so many parts. I can smack shit now. I'm so ready. Oh. Oh. Ah, you can make barrels into hideable barrels. I'm gonna rip you apart. I'm gonna rip you apart, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to Bendy Sink Studio, motherfucker. Oh, so ready. Should not have they should not have armed me this game is not free correct he squeaks I love him I am on the lookout for the motivational posters, though. Corybite, the incredibly kind two dollars. That is true, Corybite. Everyone should like the stream if they haven't yet, because it helps it in the algorithm. It's not a motivational poster. Okay, so motivational posters have shit behind them. I wonder if I can. Oh, there's a lot of folks. Oh, there's a lot of folks. Oh, there's a lot of folks. Too good. Too good. I wonder if I can just... Oh, I can. I understand everything now. I heard some of the workers from down the hall last night talking about st storming Joey Drew's office. They were using some colorful language, banging their fists on the table and chairs. It was the same bunch who whistled at me yesterday. Things must be getting serious. That accountant, Grant Cohen, just walks from his desk down to the men's room and back all day, over and over again, gripping his stomach kind of green in the gills. I can tell something he ate isn't agreeing with him, or if he just can't take the pressure anymore. Joey's got a plan, he keeps saying. Jen is making something special. I really hope he's right. It may just be a secretary, but this place is magic I don't want to see end. Sally Mute. Consume product? True. That Wilson, he's ev That Wilson, he's everywhere, yet he's nowhere. Who is this? I don't know how he does it. It's madness, madness. What if he's inside my mind? What if he hears my thoughts? Can you hear me now, Wilson? Can you? You won't get me. I've got a plan. If I tear up my brain, then you can't hear my mind. Ha, huh? I'll show you. I'll defy you. All hail the ink demon. Hail. He's not dead, I tell you. He'll rise again. His dark revenge will be terrible. Ha! 
Ooh. That's a motivational poster. Nothing. I did not realize I could jump until this very moment, to be honest. Woo! Woohoo! I'm over here now. Anyway, we'll go back. I feel like that one table. I probably have to use this at that one ta table. Table thing. Yes. Oh, ooh, where? Oh, one of these guys. What's up, fucker? Oh, you're stronger than the other side. Coward. I'm ready to party. How about you? Although that did hurt, I'll be honest. Now what about that one bench looking thing? Think you'll see Glamrock body in red. Uh, definitely possible. I don't know. Let me save real quick because I'm getting real cocky. And I don't want to get humbled. Got him. Fucker. I don't want to step in that. That looks bad for me. Work hard, work happy. That's got to be one of the motivational posters. I knew it was going to be bad for me. There were faces in there. Hammed, this game is not free. Is he dead? You don't have to kill me. of ink are yours to command. Use your powers to send monsters back to the dark puddles. While crouched and undetected, interact with an enemy from behind to banish them. Sick. I, but I don't have to kill him. I don't want to. He seems like a friend. No, I don't have to kill him. I'm not going to. He's begging. I'm not going to. Here we go. Create a gen card to access lockers. Interesting. Well, I have those things. 
Sure. Let's see what that thing does. I, there's a gen card thing right here. That's all about John. I don't know if that was worth it, but I sure did it. Oh, I should have eaten that sandwich. I didn't know it was close. I feel like I'm not hurting this one. I really wish I had that sandwich right about now. Oh, chips. He's really annoying, though. Let him live. What I do? Oh, this is the upgrade table. I see. I think. I cannot use it yet. I did put a battery in, though. That's one of the things I definitely. I mean, I'm liking the game so far. I dare you to open the locker again. I will die. See so if I can banish some fools. I could use the health. Walk this way. Turn right, please. I don't I don't believe in you. What? Oh, because someone else saw me. Who I'm hurting. Okay, let's uh just save real quick cuz I might die. I am for sure hurting. Yeah, we're going to be streaming ruin for sure. Final days here, I can tell. People are packing things into boxes. Tools are going missing. You can smell panic in the air around the studio. But we, but us gent boys, were watching the, from the shadows. We lock the doors and keep our research going. Mr. Gray already gave us a little wink. All is well. One ship sinks, another one leaves the dock. I just need to keep my ink machine safe in the chaos. It's the key to so many discoveries. I'll open the security lock, might as well. Auto save. That bodes well. Are you winning, son? I think so. Feel like I'm doing pretty alright for myself. Let's get these guys out of here. Oh, I can hide it until it's like, I saw it flicker. A little guy. What a little guy in there. 
I see no problems doing this. A friend, even. What a little guy you are. Bendy? You're real? Oh, this is amazing. It's okay. I won't hurt you. I promise. It's okay. See? I'm your friend. I won't hurt you. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I my little guy. You. I promise. No, I'm sorry, I'm little guy. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, I hurt the little guy. Damn it, Audrey. What's happening to you? I hurt my little friend. The fuck? Not my little guy. Before I keep going, that table I put a battery in. Am I not able to use that yet? Or did I just not use it correctly? Is that you, Phil? I told you I'm not opening the door until you bring me my pictures. I drew them. I want them back. Fair enough. He wants his pictures back. Do what the man asks. Not yet? Okay, cool. I, I figured as much. Kind of sucks I used a battery on it, but maybe I'll, I assume we'll be going back at some point to cross that gap. Man, we just don't listen to any signs, huh? I'm a good puzzle solver. My first instinct is to always smack. The power belongs to him. I disagree. I could really use some food right now. My gamer senses are tingling. Something bad is about to happen. <laughs> Later, Purple Froggy. told me the ink demon was going to be hot. No one warned me about this. If the voice sounds like that, y'all have to warn me. Caps do not say that is really good. <laughs> See, Lovely Puppy gets me.
Squeaky. Didn't squeak. Who are you? Anything you want me to be, Tell demon. If If Wilson is in any way related to the Ink Demon, I'm going to be so heartbroken. The suite is a really weird choice. Hmm. Surely nothing wrong will do will happen if I pull this. What's the worst that can happen? Demon. The Ink Demon is near. His power is infinite. His evil is complete. Be alert for his approach and hide at first warning. If you stay out in the open, you'll be consumed. Oh, cool. So he's just going to wander for the rest of the game. It's kind of sick. Chapter 2, The Demon's Domain. Wait, so we can't even start upgrading our shit until after Chapter 1? Wild. He walks among the believers. Hey, I got the drawing. Cool. Give that to our little door friend. And let me in. Very, uh, leopard at two. Is hiding. I like that one well for us. Oh, there's shit over there. I want. All right, let's go back the way we came real quick. Oh, wait, I can just go around this way? No, okay. We'll have to go back real quick. I kind of just ran because I thought I was in trouble. Evelyn gets it. Exactly. I can take him. You mean in a fight, right? You mean in a fight, right? If the game force uses a crouch is considered hiding, good to know. Dancing, you've got a problem. Get it wrong, and you will lose them. <sighs> you must live the characters and to draw them. Oh. You must feel the motions in your mind. When your screen goes gray, you need to hide? Okay, that's good to know. I thought when I heard his voice, I had to hide. I'm a clock, a dancing timekeeper. Tick tock, tick tock. It was a scary design, Ink Demon's design, or Nightmare Yo. Honestly, Nightmare Yo is a little goofy, so I guess I'll give it to Ink Demon. Spooky Games, you hit the nail on the head. It's the voice, it's the Venom voice. Bro, Bill Danton's high as shit recording this. Bill Danton's on something. There was stuff over here to collect. Mm. 
chips, let's go. There's a lot of stuff in here. I see. That's what it meant by watch out for the signs. The actor can just do that? God damn. I don't think I want to keep doing that yet. Like, I'm kind of good on supplies. Unless, like, are these parts only used for gent cards or is there, like will these parts be useful elsewhere i guess that's my question i think we're probably gonna get a new villain in chapter three knowing their track record for poppy playtime We have to be sus. We have to vent. Now we can move on. Harpy doesn't mean anything? Oh, okay, thank you, because I thought it had been meaning something this whole time. It's just cool, spooky stuff. I think it is super likely we see Daisy and Vron as side characters in the next chapter, though. Honestly, probably one night. So, I honestly, I think I'd rather spend one night in Joey in like this studio because it seems like if you just like sleep in a vent, you'll be okay for the night. Ah, I'm up here now. What does that get me? Interesting. I don't know what direction is the right way to go here. But there's a body over here I've never seen before, so that's new. Got a card, wouldn't you know? <laughs> Got 
Got it. Understood. The ambience in this section is amazing. It's very good. I mean, I guess I'll use my car. Oh. Okay. I don't get all of it. At least I got to be fully healed. Oh, I'm on the other side of the vent. Cool. Let me save, actually. Because that, that was really good. I'll go back up here. Okay, so I'm back here now. So now... I wanna go this way. I guess we'll go up and this time we'll drop down to the left. I'm a little lost, I'll be real. It was a big area. in there is it a drop down thing yeah I see a vent okay I need to drop down into there to get that drawing I see okay 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 if I get to that vent though this way question mark like don't get me wrong this is like a this is fun I'm just a little lost Pretty good, Connor guy. I like Gregory too. I hope we see more of him. Chocolate bar, keep that in mind. Oh, that's how I get there. Okay. So there's a vent somewhere on that wall. Wait a minute. I'm stupid. Haha. -ha. try to attack me every time I collect a picture. I still will collect a picture and you can't stop me. Bless you. So now I think I just have to get out of here. 
been there. Wait, we might actually be here. It is. You know, I think I can actually. I think you won't, frankly. This ink demon's kind of stupid. You're telling me this hides me from the ink demon? Oh, that's also food. Auto save. Got so many batteries. That's the way in. Oh, right here. Oh, we're right here. Cool. You know, he's actually pretty good. Pretty good artist. I helped you, you fuck. I helped you. One mess. Okay, so if someone writes it, this is just all of the different little ink guys write like this. Nobody wants to see my pictures. I worked so hard for them for so long. They're all my own original work. I'll have to make people look at them. That's all. They'll see how talented I am. But wait, if someone looks at them and takes all my precious ideas, they can't do that. They're my original character's mind. Do not steal. Do not steal my original. It's my OC. Don't steal. <laughs> night, Ash. Night, Evan. I do oh okay so I can trade five credits to like heal okay what a guy what a fun little guy You only watch the same dang cartoon so many times before you go crazy. I'm starting to figure out what it was they wanted me to change. Good thing I take notes. So, what's with them little numbers in the corner of the screen? Is that some kind of code? Better check the storyboard room. Phil Clark. One, two, three. Oh, there was this over here, too. So, I wonder if... So, holding flower, plucking flower, B. Two, three, one. Oh. Well, it's not the same B. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, maybe there's something to do up here then. Oh, let me grab this. When I first oh, we're not listening to fucking Wilson talk. When I first entered this world, I was, it was untamed wilderness, a wretched crawling slum ruled by that grinning demon. From chaos, I brought order. From order, I brought peace. Once you cut the head from the snake, the snake bleeds out quietly onto the ground. Now, the only question that remains is, what if the head grows back? The 
head grew back, Wilson. You dumbass piece of shit. I see. Okay, holding, plucking, B. Two, three, five. A lot of healing items in here. Lo and behold, do I need a code for the door? Sure do. Two, three, five. Let's go! Puzzle solved! Hoggers! Hello, Amanda. Come say hello? I mean, sure. What's the worst gonna happen? She was the fourth. That's a new person. Good things always come in through. Good things always come in threes, they say. Bendy, Alice, and Boris. It just works. So when I showed my coworkers my design for a new fourth member of the butcher gang, you could almost hear the disgust at the lunch table. A ghost girl, they said? No one's gonna get it. They just laughed at my drawings, crumpled them up like trash. But I'll get Mr. Drew on my side. He'll understand. He's got to. Carly will join the Butcher Gang, and she'll be beloved by all. One way or another, I'll bring Carly to life. One way or another, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you, one way. Gonna save real quick. I mean, she's got a cute design. Yeah. Gross. Hello? Oh, she's gone forever. Surely that won't bite us in the ass. It bit us in the ass. Okay, I can't go that way yet. Ah, security lock. Gotcha. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> you like the silent jump I just did? <laughs> So she could just do that now? Man, y'all are right, Carly sucks. I'm gonna try. Hmm. Since when do shadows move? You know what? There's a lot of food in there that I didn't eat yet. Bet we can take them. But what if I banish something I haven't done yet? Don't cry for me. I want to. Wild. Honestly? 
That worked out very well for us. Oh, 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 where? We're too good, frankly. You can load your save from before you open the box. No, nah, Carly's great. Leave her in. If so, listen, listen. All right, I'm gonna be so real with you guys. I don't jump easy. So if something's going to be jumping in our face and scaring the shit out of us, that makes for better content, okay? I'm just going to be so for real with you guys. Why did I have to come back here, though? Just to kill those things before I can keep going, I guess? Signed, the animation staff is hired, Archgate Pictures is open for business. As of nine o'clock this morning, Bendy and all his little cartoon uh, friends hey, now belong to me. I'll admit it's strange owning a dear friend's legacy, but I think Joy would be content knowing it's safely in my hands. You just gotta believe, he used to say. He was such a showman. Well, I believe, Joey. I wholeheartedly believe. I don't like that there's like nowhere to hide in here. It's like what there there's my hiding spot. I'm like what if the demon shows up? I gotta hide somewhere. Yeah, Ruin Help wanted to end the FNAF movie all this year is crazy. Oh poor Boris, get out of there. Okay, bye. Weirdo. This will do, I guess. Help Wanted 2 looks very, very... Inter I'm so excited to be able to play, like, Help Wanted 2 live, like, and experience it firsthand. Because when Help Wanted 1 came out, I didn't have a VR uh, system, so I just had to watch other people play it. Being able to experience it firsthand is going to be insane. I'm very scared. I'm very scared. Machine must endure. What's up, weirdo? Did you 
you get stuck. Oh, hello there. Are you looking for the way out? A way out would be nice. Are you stuck in there? <laughs> oh, well, yes, and I'm afraid that means, well, you're stuck too. Can't you move? Not an inch. Uh, perhaps you could get me unstuck? I'll see what I can do. Poor guy. There he goes. Might as well. When in Rome, am I right, fellas? Whee! I like this. I like this Thank Porter fellow. Thank you very much for your help. The name's Porter, by the way. And who might you be? Audrey. 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 Nope. Don't like it. Doesn't suit you. I'll call you Bobby. Huh? And to say thanks for your feat of rescue, here's a little gift. Something I've learned. Mm, there we are. It's passed on. Now, you can move like me. <laughs> Oh, bye, Porter. Yo, Porter's great. I love Porter. That was weird. Shut the fuck up, Audrey. Dark puddles will move you. Use your power to flow quickly and undetected over a short distance. Flow is also handy for navigating to areas that are hard to reach. Audrey, don't be mean to Porter. He's great. Cool. Right, Audrey lets Wilson get in the elevator and then makes fun of Porter. Ah, Audrey's so mean. Hey, our friend's still alive. Oh, hey, it's Porter. Or maybe not. I'm gonna go check on our friend. What a good guy. Master Enderbone with incredibly kind $10. <laughs> OMG, I'm late. Promise to be here every stream. Oh, you're totally fine. And also, more than fine with the incredibly kind $10. Anyway, I'm here now. We can play the money game. Oh, God. Wait. No, no, no. Don't do that. Listen. Just being here is nice enough. Don't, don't play some weird money game. You're fine. It's fine. Fully charged gen. Oh, I get to upgrade my pipe. Cool. I have to wait, though. But I'm a gal. I have to go in the guy's locker room. Gross. Stinky dudes are going to be in there. I don't want to be around stinky dudes. Master Enderbrook with a very kind two dollars, but why? Because I worry about your personal finances. You're going to be throwing money at a random streamer online like this. God, this makes me want to play Borderlands 2 so bad.
You can't be talking to my ear like that, Ink Demon. So this is probably where we find the Seekers then, right? The little crawly dudes? I'm not going to be opening all these lockers. I do not care that much. Sorry. Bacon soup, though. I am hurting, so I guess I'll eat one. I lied. I'm such a slut for collectibles. Master Underbone with the incredibly kind $5. Please stop. Hey, did you get the new Zelda game yet? I did. I haven't beaten it yet, but I'm very close. Hopefully. I, I think Ruin will fix a lot of the issues people had. Donut. Ow. Seizure warning. That hurt my eyes. And I don't even have epilepsy. Ooh. Little miracle station. Good to know. Huh. There's a code, apparently. To what? I don't know, but there is a code. I just want to have all the collectibles, damn it. Healing station there. So get this bit of strangeness, that Thomas Connor guy from Gen. He's taken over the back area in the locker. Guess I'll have more move my little office of cardboard boxes somewhere else. He gave me the code for the door in case I ever need to get in and clean up. I wrote the code down and put it in my locker. It's the eighth locker over from the poster with the pretty lady on it. I tell you, if that guy keeps causing trouble for me, I'm out of here. Two, one, five. Okay, there's a hiding spot over there. They're really giving you this room like, hey, if you haven't been picking anything up, here's your last chance. So we got here. Let's turn to with another five dollars. My uncle said he has 120 hours and still is done with the game. Also has a little loathing. So happy for you. Very good. And uh, I totally get it. It's a my ADHD brain can barely do anything in that game. I'm at a point where I just have to beat the final boss, but I keep getting sidetracked by random things. Gent door access mod. Sure. Gotta find my I'm out of here. Charge the pipe, I guess. You can spend its power on opening jet locks around the studio. What's behind them? Only the bravest will seek them out for their rewards. Interesting. Look at all these healing items. Surely I won't need that soon. Why would I need healing items? The world may never know. Fucker. It begins. Sucks to suck, dude. 
M maybe don't be bad. Oh, hey. Oh, to charge it again and stations over there. Hey, no worries, Emmy. We're going late. Also, welcome, Emily de la Sierra. It is 1 a.m. for me, so it's also getting late for me, too. Huh. I do have to go over there. Based. We would probably banish this one. Oh, no, we can't. Haha, <laughs> suck my dick, loser. 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 Dummy. Stupid. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? That's what I thought. Up. Turns out I was dumb, stupid, and dumb. Yeah, that's what I've learned. Well, I'm very hurt. I'm gonna... I think it might be time to do one of these. I was humbled immediately. <sighs> Post arcade bar chill. Oh, I love arcades. How late am I streaming for? I don't know, until I get too tired. The keepers see everything. I guess it's a matter of like, okay, without spoilers, how far into this game am I? Like 20%? Your journey will end. You are consumed into my dark kingdom. Here, you will find meaning in your pain. I know I have to go up, but I'm very interested to see what the artist's rest is. Well, I guess we're going up. Never mind. All right, we're going to the artist's rest. <laughs> There's five chapters and I'm on two. Fair enough. Oh, it's like a little capsule hotel. Very dystopian, like it. Master Underbone, with the incredibly kind $20, please stop for your own sake. While getting higher with the amount of months, it's okay they fall off trees after all, so it's one for you. It's pretty late, but playing games up late in the summer is like a necessity. Chris, you playing Bendy too? True. Yeah, it is very, very summer to be playing at 1 a.m. Evelyn, you're very valid in that. Although the, the throat grumble he did was like a little much. It was a little cheesy.
I guess I should just charge this now so I have it charged, right? Seems like the move. The one where Bill, the Bill Danton tape. Are you talking about the one where he's like talking about a clock and he's high as shit? Well, we're going to complete the game. So I'm going to try to beat it in one stream, but I have a feeling just by the fact that I'm still in chapter two that it's going to be a, a couple streams. I was Hank Scott. Joey happened to notice last week just how long it takes for us employees to get home every night. When you add in the traffic Fair and the waiting for the elevators, you practically only have a few hours before you have to wake up and come back. So Joey had them built our distress for us. Now we never have to leave work again, Joey says. Well, I'll admit, it's become quite the hangout spot down here. Almost like it's uh own little district but there's definitely some unsavory stuff going on too smoking gambling loud parties you name it at all hours of the night sometimes for a place that's all about getting some shut eye <laughs> there sure is a lot of noise around here I'm such a sucker for those black and white trail mix from Target. It's just peanuts and raisins, but a third of it is plain, a third of it is chocolate, and a third of it is yogurt. It's really good. Master Underbone with an incredibly kind $5. I'm running out of ideas on what to say. Frankie Doodle, Tootsie Pops, and Monkeys, Monkeys. What the hell? Maybe just stop donating. You too. This is too much, Master Underbone. I'm worried about you. I've ever played Dead by Daylight. I have 400 hours in Dead by Daylight, so yes. Hey, ain't girl kind of thick though? What is it? What is it? I can take these three. Although I do have to start being careful because I cannot take many more of them, frankly. I need some food. Player one needs food badly. I really have to set up my uh, text to speak. Man, I'm hurting. Food? Not now! Damn it. I have like a lot of money, so it's okay. It's all joke and all jokes. Maybe not all the joke ends happily. I mean, if you're if you're sure, I am worried about your financial situation. Let me actually take a quick detour 
and fix my um, text-to-speech. Oh, they're all going to roll through now. Because it should be pinging and doing a little text-to-speech every time somebody donates, and it's not. And I feel bad now that Master Enderbone is just throwing money at the fucking wall. So when my school looks like you, I think he's trying to be like you because you're awesome. His name is Patrick. Well, Patrick, you're awesome. And Master Enderbrote, calm it down. Holy. Okay. Um, let me grab. Because I commissioned art for the text-to-speech, and I really want it to work. Enderbone, it's not done yet. Stop. Thank you, but stop. Thank you for the two dollars. Oh, you know what? I think this is going to take longer than I want it to. Okay, I'm going to have to do this off stream, unfortunately. I can get the text-to-speech working. It's just not going to um have the animation set to it yet. I'll add it though. And I guess I'll just hit emulate and we'll see what happens. This is a fake super chat, just letting you know right now. Nanny super chatted $10. Howdy, my name is Bill. Okay, that worked correctly. And then I'm going to want to do Well, thank you. And stop. Let me add to back the game browser. Add TTS. Don't know. Cool. So that's done. So now. Although I don't know how to make it so you guys hear it. Let me test it real quick. 
I'm testing it, Enderbone. Do not donate. There's a fake dono going through. So audio application. The question is what window is that coming from? So if I open my volume mixer, sorry for the, the delay everybody, I'm just trying to make sure this works correctly. OBS, it's coming from OBS. But I can't capture OBS for some reason. We're not playing Rainbow Frets right now. I guess we'll go to settings, audio. Are you guys hearing the TTS? Like, do you hear it when I do this? Because I hear it, but I don't think you guys hear it. No? Okay. What is going on here? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Browser source control audio via OBS. I figured it out. We're good. We're good. Uh, properties control audio via OBS. Now you should hear it. Let me do a test. Or Master Edibo with the incredibly kind $2 will test it for us. This should work work theoretically wake up wake up wake up wake up Davina super shattered ten dollars do not okay, fear a, a man one, that now spams I can't one thousand so memes. Instead fear a man that spams a and I'll make it so times. I can hear it because now I can't hear it is the issue monitor and output I'm going to send one more test one Charlie's super chatted $10 do not fear we a man it. that spams 1000 memes instead fear a man that spams a meme 1000 times we got it folks although let me make it a different sound there we go cool that's
that should work. It works now. So now uh, Super Chats will TTS, which should have been happening the whole time. I don't know why it wasn't. But progress. Enderbone, thank you. Stop. Master Enderbone super chatted two dollars, testing, testing, 123, 123, Bingo Bob goes boom. Turn the volume up while I was in there? I feel like the game got way louder when I did that. Let me fix the game's volume real quick. I didn't set up the art. The art's gonna take like offline me finagling it. But at least the TTS is working. It'll take me a while to get the art set up and like I already I already detoured us for like 20 minutes. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Like, I, there's this button in here that makes me think I have to use it, but I don't really know what it does. This fucking bitch. I mean, I guess lost and found. Master Enderbone super chatted two dollars. Yay, it works. Now everyone can hear me chat. True. I did die going this way, so maybe this was what I was supposed to do. So we can do that now. Interesting. Thank you, game, for telling me. I would have never figured that out on my own. Also, Master Nemo. Please, please stop. Thank you. Oh, hoist. I've got keys for the hoist. Oh, schematic. What's the upgrade? Heavily charged, for, can be temporarily charged for a heavy impact. Oh, I need a lot of these. Okay, so I need more of the toolkits. But good to know. Thank you, Master Underbone. Please stop. I also want soup now, though. I might have to. I might make some soup before I go to bed. Master Enderbone super chatted two dollars. Everyone's talking about soup now. I want soup. Fuck you. Dumb piece of shit. Oops. Dumb piece of shit misses and have to wait has to wait for ten seconds for it to re regenerate. What? Am I not allowed through now? Or am I just dumb? Okay, I'm just dumb. What did he do out here? Wilson shares a voice with the Nightmare Freddy? Interesting. Well, they're both creepy voices, so... Master Enderbone super chatted $2. I think Bendy Mad BC you keep causing at him. 
Thank you, Master Enderbone. There have been lies that the ink demon has been spotted in Animation Alley. Pay no attention to these filthy rumors. I destroyed the demon myself. He died by my hands. Wilson, he's literally right here. Wilson, he's literally right here. I don't know what you're yapping on about, dude. Question is, can I catch up to her in time? Probably not. Ooh, something is there for me. Voice controls. I've got a key for that. Let's go. So it's agreed. After this stream, we're all gonna go eat some soup, right? But the crane keys lost found off is some. Dope keeps leaving them out. Oh, hey. Would you look at that? I've got the key. We are now hoisting. Oh, why, but we're doing it. Oh, hello, everybody. Oh, you guys got tougher. Oh, Lord. Uh oh. Let me save on a separate. Let me save on a separate file, because we're in a bad spot. I don't know why we hoisted that, but we did hoist it. Shit, shit. I fucked it, I fucked it, I fucked it. Alright, we're cool. I wanted to heal, but whatever. Master Enderbone super chatted five dollars, so, money, he he, I'm still doing this, huh? Well I'm doing this, and if you say no I will keep doing it anyway unless you are one million percent serious. Master Enderbone, I am genuinely a little worried about you. Like, obviously, let's be real here. Do I like getting money? Yes. I, I just want to make sure you're taking care of yourself. Like, it's a good bit, but like, are you okay? I, I know I can't be throwing this much money at a random stranger online. Oh, wait. I see. I understand. I go there to there, so I just have to get. Oh. I really want to 
Like, I just really want to, like, slurp them up because I need health. Give every Joker Master on the bone. Help! Master Enderbone super chatted $5. I'm in a mental facility so no I'm not fine but money is no worry in here, everything is free, yay. That is a joke BTW. I need to get up there. Maybe sauna? How do I get to that door? Maybe it's upper beds? I know I have to get to that door to get to the exit. The question is, how do I get there? Oh, you're so right. Flow onto this thing and then onto that. Oh, you're so right. I would have never thought of that. I've been trying to, oh my God. Yeah, I've been trying to get into there to get to there, I'm dumb. I get it now, I understand. I see the plan, it's, it's coming together. Huh. But what's over there? Like that's the exit, but like, what's over here? Last time I took a detour, I unlocked some random bitch who keeps showing up. Hey, upgrades. Let's go. I'm shove my hand in there. Upgrade ability, cooldown, health, or stay. I think I do need some health. I do think I need some health. All right, Evelyn, have a good night. Really? Oh shit, I was texting. Uh. Probably should have paused. <laughs> one of my one of my commit one of my um one of the guys I do a commission for texted me, so I was answering that because I thought I was I thought I'd be safe, frankly. Master Enderbone super chatted $10, I'm scared to sleep at night so this should help me be distracted for a bit, at least for now. It is just anxiety from the past few days, also your videos really help me with calming down. Thank you. I'm glad I can help, but don't feel like you have to like, repay in any way, like I'm just glad to be able to provide something that can help, you know, I, I get... I get having trouble sleeping. I did for a long time. And also way too kind with this money. I'm telling you, you gotta <laughs> like Master Renderbone super you, chatted you, you $2. Just say it in chat, wow. Personal bomb. Sorry. And you're fine. It Thoughts fall to the 
Joey Drew exhibit we opened last week. Outside one or two of the artists, I don't think I've ever seen a single soul. True Lip is 621 super shattered $4.99. Thoughts on Jacksonville as a potential host for future Summer Olympics. I had no idea that was even in talks. I mean, cool, I guess. I don't really have many thoughts on that. feeling around Archgate, like the ghosts of long ago or wandering about. Calling out to me. Master Enderbone super chatted two dollars. OMG, other super chatters. Yay, more friends. Y'all are too much. Thank you though. Um, I will actually be right back. Uh, the wife needs some help with baby toast, so I'll be right back.
Master Enderbone Super Shattered $2, PlayStation Graphics Good But Xbox is so nostalgic. See, I I, I disagree because I was always a Sony kid. Also, hey guys. Um, don't know how much longer the stream will go because Baby Toast might not be staying asleep. So we'll find out. But it looks like I'm nearing the end of this chapter. So ideally, I'll finish this chapter and maybe we'll call it a stream, right? Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> Alright, we'll get a little bit further in then. I thought we'd ha I wanted to play for like at least another half hour or so. I am fully charged. Okay, good to know. Well, let me open this and then charge. Baby Toast would probably like Bendy. It's nice and, like, cartoony. Is this just the I don't have any batteries that I need to progress button? Okay, so I cannot go that way. Guess not. Running out like rats, scurrying all over the place. People shoving and pushing the way this elevator system is set up. You'd think we'd only have ten employees working here. At any time of the day, this hall is full of people waiting to go up. Right around quitting time, you're going to have to grab a magazine and wait your turn. It just goes to show that Joey Drew Studios really did grow too much too fast. But here's there's more than one way to escape this rat's maze. I'm going to do some asking around. Interesting. Into the pay reverence? Just a pencil and a dream. True. <laughs> well, of course I want to leave a pathway. To the angel station. That's a get out of jail free or the miracle station. That's a get out of jail free card. Why wouldn't I? Let's see what's in here. Can upgrade the pipe.
Jerry Draw or something. I forget his name. True. Eat it. Oh. Ooh. Donut. We live in the ruins of the past, forever lost in the shadows of those who came before us. Blended souls to make something new, birthed from a machine into a world we cannot own. But the ink demon lives in all of us, a voice that calls us to a purpose. We know it's a lie, but his intoxicating pull is strong. He is calling, always calling. Can you not hear him? What the hell is it? What is blood waffling about? To the surface we go. Elevator time. Muscle top, muscle top. Puts a donut in a crate with dirt. It's called protein. All right. Man, I want a donut. I think I'm just hungry. Every time we talk about food, I get hungry. Mimic. Mimic one says, Raitos, you've been holding us captive, forcing us to watch for 24 hours. Can you release us and can we go home? Mimic. You know better than to ask questions that you already know the answer to. No, you're not allowed to go home. You should already know that. Coffee heals you to buy coffee. I actually just finished my coffee, so. Pancakes or waffles? Hot take, pancakes. I think waffles, uh, like, mathematically hold more stuff so they're better, but I love how fluffy pancakes get. I'm sorry. But I wanted to use the elevator. Master Enderbone super chatted two dollars. Omg, forgot to like until now. Good catch for me. Thank you, Master Enderbone. Oh, I think I'm in the pit, guys. Thank you for the two dollars and thank you for the reminder to like the stream because it helps in the algorithm. Hot dogs or burgers? Hamburgers. I like hot dogs, but I think hamburgers are more versatile. Eggs? Get that motherfucker from doors! <laughs> what? What did that do? Alright, that's not the solution. Coffee? What do I have for coffee? Just smack him? Smack him, boys. Smack him. Oh, this ain't working. This ain't working one bit. Mini Metal Super Chatted $5. Fucking uh, take my money. Oh, we gotta hit it a couple times. Oh, it's possible, baby. Somebody super chat something, but I could not hear it. Unless that's what you super chat. Mini medals, please take my money. Uh, I will. Please. Mini medals, super chatted five dollars. No, please different. take my money. Right. What was the one I missed then? Oh, weird. Not in the chat. Now, what the hell is this? I'm so hurt though. Put that coffee to us, huh? 
Yeah, full health. That's good. That's good. Super chatted two dollars. Yes, Minnie, do it. Carry out my destiny. War? Thank God, because I spent a lot of money on this fight. Cool. Oh, so wait, they just die? That's funny. I don't want to fight any more of these things. I'm going to just kill all these guys. Is there an achievement or anything for killing all these guys? Because, like, you very clearly can kill them. It is currently 2.15 a.m. for me. Probably going to be ending somewhat soon, to be honest. Very tired. No, no achievement or anything. They just die. Well, we're more than halfway done at this point. You'd think they'd put, like, a Steam achievement or something. Eastern Standard Time Gang. I think that's everybody in the room, right? Anyone that's still alive in here? Anyone at all? Cool. And that's how you deal with spiders, folks. Fear shows our true nature. 
Maybe you, but not me. I'm built different. Oh, let's talk to Alice, I guess. I'm going to immediately not do that, actually. <gasps> friend! Friend, 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 friend. No, I'm sorry for hurting you. I didn't mean to. Friend! Friend! Oh, that's the wrong way. Friend! Is there like a spin around really quick thing I keep accidentally doing? friend I want to be I want to hang out with the little friend Yeah, folks, let's save your money, folks. Come on now. Be reasonable here. Ten. Two more. It does not let me just jump, turns out. You said that to Henry and you trapped him in a cycle forever, so I immediately don't trust you. Mimic, I told you your family and yourself are not going anywhere. Mini medals super chatted two dollars. Well now am I wanna spend more cash. Thank you for the very kind two dollars, mini medals. Do not Come here, you fucker. This is all your fault, you piece of shit. There you go. Follow me. But mind your step. This old place is full of surprises. I should know. I've worked here a long time. Mr. Drew? Joey, please. Joey, what is this place? The studio? These monsters? Am I dreaming? It's a psycho, Audrey. An ink-stained nightmare, forever stuck on repeat. With just a pencil on a dream, and with a little help from the Jet Corporation, it came into being. From what I gather, it exists in parallel with the outside world, but completely removed from the march of time. And like a record played over and over again, it's begun to crumble, wear down. This studio is a monument to choosing the wrong road. Now, whether it was built for revenge or regret, I don't know. That's my riddle to solve. The truth is, Audrey, someone out there is messing with what's in here. 
Bad Wilson? things have begun to emerge from the place. I assume. Wicked creatures that never came from my pen. The worst ones call themselves keepers. Dangerous, deadly folks. They've taken over the old jet workshop just beyond the sewers. Trying to bring what they call order to this world. Freezing the cycle in place. Changing the script. Whatever answers you're looking for, you'll find them there. Every great story begins in mystery, although things may be dark at the start. The truth will woman anyway. Don't be afraid of who you are. Feel only what you may become banished away, your best pal. Once again, Henry signed off, best pal. So my brain says that's Henry. <sighs> Look, above all, never forget. You're here for a reason, Audrey. Yeah, Wilson put me There's here. always a reason, even when you can't understand it. You made this world. Why can't you fix it? Because I'm not the man. I'm just a memory. What does that mean? Okay, no, so he is dead. Good reveal, by the way, to have the door, the door open to his tomb. Don't have this open. Doubt the answer you seek are usually nearby. They all have dreams, ghosts in our past, but these ghosts can lead us the path forward. Uh, I would choose Minecraft, by the way. <gasps> Little guy, no, I promise. Little guy, please. Little guy! I love him. I love him. What's this do? Turn something on. I don't have enough yet, do I? Nah, two more. Yeah, I mean, realistically, that little Bendy and the Ink Demon are probably related, but, like, I don't care. Little Bendy's cute. He can kill me for all he wants. Ha! I don't know what way is the way forward and what way is an upgrade. It's like, I don't want to go too far the right way, because I might miss an upgrade. Surface hatch sounds like the way forward. Let's go this way. This is a long part? Okay, maybe we stop here then. Because it is 2.30 in the morning. And I am beat tired. Oh yeah, this is a big area. Alright, I think... This is a great place to end. We got like two and, a, two and a quarter chapters in. Some upgrades done, a lot of plot scene. We've been playing for four hours. I think it's bedtime. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, all the okay. I gotta fix that before we do the like goodbyes and everything. All of these super chats are gonna replay. I need to fix that because we're not gonna be able to talk. Because I want to say my goodnights and everything. 
Trulip he 621 super shattered $4.99, parting gift, folded hands. That's incredibly kind of you. Uh, okay, so this settings super chat alert. I'm just gonna clear sound, clear image. Save. Okay, that should save us. Thank you for the five dollars, uh, Jay Trulepi. Let me pull up the song. You know what it is? It's Animal Crossing five p.m. Folks, it's been a stream, a very fun stream, a very long stream. This game is very good. It's gonna take some time to get into. Probably played some Master more Master Enderbone we'll super chatted two dollars. Last chat Enderbone, for the night. For the two so good night. T H X B T W. Please take care of yourself. But until next time, as always, have a good night. Let me do some good nights. Emily D. Last Sierra, good night. Master Enderbone, good night. Uh, J. Trulippy, good night. Uh, Wicked Penguin, good night. Steven Universe 13, good night. Purple Froggy, good night. Random, good night. Nezuka. Nezkuchan? Oh, that's the, the, I forgot her name, the, the girl from Demon Slayer. And the, uh, Jake, good night. Mini Metals, good night. Mimic One, good night. NPC, good night. Sophocles, good night. Insert cool name here, good night. Jake, good night. Biggie, good night. Prince Ali, good night. Vincent Morris, good night. Won't sleep well. Uh, Holidays, good night. Whimsy Moon, good night. Liliana, good night. Michael, good night. Oh, no, not the odds. Oh, Bonnie the Bunny, good night. I can feel it in my eyes. Crest, good night. DA Learning Gamer, good night. Uh, love you, puppy, good night. And for anybody I miss, anybody at all, have a good night and stay toasty.